Well, it's 10:48 uh, a.m. I decided not to stay in Akron. The weather will probably be okay, but about 70 miles up the road, about uh, 30 miles northeast, is a town called Astabula, and I found a very nice park here, right along uh, Lake Erie. And I see the crowds are already coming out this morning, as you can see here. And this is the parking lot. And I'm parked out back there, and there's plenty of grass. There's a pavilion back there where I can actually set my camera uh, to take photos. Uh, the weather looks like it is clearing out. So, I'm taking a walk down here by the beach to see if it's... Uh, more advantageous or beneficial to set up camp down here. So this place is called the Walnut Beach Coastal Dune Trail. And I'm gonna take a walk. And let's see what that's like. And you can see there's a uh, sand here, so I'm not gonna bring the camera out here because I don't want to get sand my lens it's about 11 o'clock and people are already beginning to queue up and uh, setting up uh, their chairs Lake Erie looks like it's turned out to be a very nice day it's about 12 30 and I'm all set up I have my app set up I have my uh, camera and lens, everything set up. As you can see down here, I have a chair, some water, my solar glasses. This right here helps me to find where the sun is. All I have to do is to affix this onto the camera and there's a hole there and there's a hole down here at the bottom. Let me move my hand out of the way. Okay, there's a hole here and there's a hole there. And when the sun is in frame, right back there, I'll see a small circle go over that hole right there so I know that the sun is in the frame. And this is a something I bought from uh, Home Depot couple of dollars it works very good and if I were to pan around we can see that there are uh, people showing up it's not really packed crowded you know like thousands of people here I don't think a lot of people know about this place this is the Walnut Beach Park and as you can see over here, there's still lots of uh, grass area here. Parking might be a little bit limited for this type of event, but uh, lots of grass area here. And out there, we have the, uh, the beach area. And there are restrooms over here, which I like. And I'm parked right over there. And there are several pavilions here that people are camped under. What I find interesting is I see a lot of people in their uh, lawn chairs, like for example down here, and they're looking out toward the, uh, the lake, that's Lake Erie. But the sun will be behind them. I already had two people walk up to me to ask me uh, what direction will uh, the sun be, and I says, well, right here. So look at where my lens is, is pointed. There's another gentleman uh, right over here and right over there. And they obviously they know as well. So I've only seen about uh, four photographers out here, including myself. There might be others showing up later on. But uh, I'm really looking forward to this. And uh, I'll talk to you guys as soon as we get close to the partial eclipse.
Well, that's it. My very first total solar eclipse, April the 8th, 2024. The experience was absolutely awesome. Met a lot of uh, nice people out here today. It's one thing to see photographs and videos uh, on YouTube or other platforms, but to actually experience it is something else. So I hope you enjoy the footage. And until the next video, this is Ron from Ron's World. Thank you for watching.